During the blackout, the Dragon capsule will be going through entry interface where it is encountering aerodynamic forces, really starting to build up uh, the external temperature as it, and that external temperature will reach about 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the, the, the interior of the cabin is environmentally cooled, so Bob and Doug will, should, be, should remain comfortable during their descent. There will be cool air flowing not only through the cabin itself, but also through their suits. The suits have sensors on them that are able to detect the temperature inside that suit. And once, it, once uh, that sensor reads that uh, it has reached the, the maximum temperature threshold, uh, it'll flush the suit with some cool air and, uh, and really circulate and, and cool it down. All right, well, we are right around that estimated blackout time. As we heard the call, we'll see them on the other side, expected to regain that communication at about 42 minutes after the hour. So for these next six minutes, they're already less than 60 miles in altitude. And this is when the capsule is really heating up during that reentry, reaching temperatures of around 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. As again, you're essentially hitting the atmosphere at more than 17,000 miles an hour and the friction building up that plasma around the spacecraft. And that's what's gonna prevent us from talking to Bob and Doug or getting data back from the spacecraft for the next six minutes. As flight computers are in control though, it's going to continue to maintain its appropriate trajectory and attitude uh, having attitude determination devices on board the capsule, not reliant on communications with satellites. And it's going to continue dragging down the correct path for this splashdown off the coast of Pensacola. So uh, we are in that blackout period. We're going to continue to stand by until we get them on the other side. And just about two minutes after we get acquisition of signal AOS back with Dragon, we're going to be looking for those parachutes. And we should hopefully be getting some views from a couple of our assets out at the landing zone, including our WB-57 high altitude research plane, which is going to be relying on Dragon's telemetry to actually lock onto it in the sky and give us an infrared view of the capsule during the final stages of reentry. We're gonna be looking for the drogue deploys at about 44 minutes after the hour. Those will be two drogue shoots that are gonna come out when the vehicle is still moving at about 350 miles an hour. And it'll be at an altitude of about 18,000 feet. They'll come out and do some initial slowing and stabilization of the spacecraft. And then uh, less than a minute later, they'll detach and the four main parachutes will deploy. You'll see them come out and look kind of closed up initially, and then they'll do what's known as reefing, opening up in really two different stages just to minimize the immediate loads on the parachutes themselves. Uh, those main parachutes will come out at an altitude of about 6,500 feet, with Dragon already slowed down to 119 miles an hour, and they'll do the rest of the slowing the whole way down until we splash down in the Gulf of Mexico. We should be 10 minutes away from splashdown. So right now we're getting our cameras on the WB-57 airplane, which is in the area, uh, getting those cameras ready to give us our first glimpse Should still have about three minutes left, a little less than three minutes until we anticipate reacquiring our signal and our connection with Bob and Doug and the Dragon spacecraft. If you're just tuning in, we are in a blackout period that we were expecting. Uh, this blackout period will last a total of six minutes and we're about halfway through there now. Uh, at the moment, Dragon is re-entering the Earth's atmosphere 
And due to the plasma building up on the exterior of the vehicle, uh, we're unable to communicate or send commands, but Dragon is fully autonomous. It is steering itself. Uh, and right now, Bob and Doug are flying home. Dragon SpaceX com check. So we're still inside that anticipated blackout window. It does look like we are getting uh, maybe some sporadic data starting to peek through. This is why you heard that communications check with the spacecraft. Dragon, SpaceX, comm check. Never has you loud and clear. We're about 3.9 G. Copy, we've got you 5x5 five five as well, Doug. Looking good, and you can expect an automated shoot deployment. Copy, automated shoot deployment. All right, really good news there. We have come out of the blackout period, and we have reestablished connection with Dragon Endeavor with NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley on board. We were able to reacquire that communication a little bit earlier than expected. And now we are just waiting. We should just be about two and a half minutes away from that initial drogue shoot deploy. Yeah, two minutes and 26 seconds. A GPS has converged. Copy that. You may have heard earlier that Bob and Doug are currently experiencing 3.5 Gs. Not too bad. That's about what they pulled during the ascent phase. Just like a mild roller coaster. So the vehicle is now over the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, it is approaching the landing zone uh, off the coast of Florida near Pensacola. And there we have our first shot. There it is, this, the first view from the WB-57 airplane. It is dipping in and out a little bit. This is going to be an infrared camera showing us Dragon re-entering. We have that comm back with Bob and Doug. Uh, you heard AGPS is converging. Uh, Dragon has... Uh, three GPS units that it uses uh, actually in the parachute deployment process uh, as it helps uh, along with the pressure sensors really give a solid altitude to the flight computers on when these are supposed to deploy. And we're standing by for the drogue chute deployments. We should be just under five minutes away from splashdown. Passing 15 kilometers, brace for drogue window. Happy, we're braced. Just about 14 kilometers in altitude, 8.4 miles continuing to descend. There on your screen, we have a shot of the capsule as it is preparing to deploy those initial parachutes, the drogue parachutes. Again, these parachutes help slow the vehicle down even further and help stabilize in preparation for main shoot deployment. Right about now, the capsule is going about 400 miles per hour, decelerating quickly. And standing by for drogue deploys. Visual, two drogues out. There on your screen, we have visual confirmation of those two drogue deployments. Happy to drogue. 
All right, so two of two, the droves now out. They're gonna do their slowing and stabilizing of the Dragon spacecraft. They should be detaching in just a few moments, and then we'll see four parachutes, the main parachutes deployed. Dragon under droves. Drove descent rate nominal. So the expected descent rate, the expected velocity under the droves nominal. We're right at around 150 miles an hour and already dropping. You can see the droves now detach. And there we have confirmation of deployment of the four main parachutes. We are visual on four chutes out. We are visual. Four main parachutes deployed. Four main. So at this point, the main parachutes have deployed. They are inflating, as you can see there on your screen, continuing to slow Dragon down significantly. We are anticipating splashdown in just under two minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, we've already slowed the vehicle down to about 16 miles an hour. It's already less than a kilometer in altitude. Main chute descent rate nominal, passing through 700 meters. So at this point, Dragon has saved all propulsion systems on 600 board. 600 meters. 600 meters. And we're 600 meters above the Gulf of Mexico. Should be approximately a minute 30 from splashdown. Mission Control Team here in Hawthorne has reported the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team. They are standing by, ready to go get our space dads. Passed about 300 meters, one minute till splashdown. Two hundred meters. We are brace for splashdown. Copy brace for splashdown. So there we heard Bob and Doug reporting that they are bracing for a splashdown. We should be able to see. Uh, the Gulf of Mexico here in the shot just momentarily as we're now just about 20 meters off the ocean. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see splashdown and mains cut. Dragon Endeavor has returned home. NASA astronauts and Bob Endeavor and Doug. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. <laughs> it was truly our honor and privilege to fly in flight of the uh, Crew Dragon and Endeavor. Congratulations, everybody at SpaceX. Uh, all good, and we're uh, into section of four decimal eight zero zero.